Dwayne Haskins laughed as the Giants passed on him and got to work quickly putting together a side hustle. Dude is ready to make money. The New York team went with Daniel Jones as their successor for Eli Manning, and let's just say the people aren't happy. The NFL draft was full of shockers, let's get right into it. Hey guys, it's Devin Howard. Have you followed me on Instagram yet? If not, do it now, at Devin Howard, and subscribe to The Fumble. Tap the bell for notifications, and now, time for the news. The Giants desperately needed a quarterback to succeed Eli Manning. They were pretty lucky to be picking sixth behind a bunch of teams that already got their quarterback selections, so the obvious choices for them at number six were Josh Allen, Drew Locke, or Dwayne Haskins. But what did they do? They went with Daniel Jones, a guy who most likely would have been available at number 17. It was a shock to say the least, completely out of left field. It left Giants fans everywhere stunned and outraged. The New York Giants Dwayne Haskins. Daniel Jones. Daniel Mother! Oh! Oh! Oh no! But we'll get into that in a second because we need to discuss Dwayne Haskins' reaction to the surprising Giants draft pick. The quarterback hosted a draft party and had the cameras rolling the whole time, so his reaction to the news was all recorded for our viewing pleasure. While Giants fans erupted in a fit of rage, Dwayne smugly laughed, clearly amused by the insane pick. Take a look at the video here. The New York Giants select Big Blue. Daniel Jones. No! Oh Uh, yeah, that was kind of all of us. On the bright side, Dwayne did make some cash last night. The football player hosted that draft party, but it wasn't a free-for-all. He actually charged a $50 entrance fee. After not making a single penny for his time in the NCAA, he wasted no time becoming an entrepreneur and making bank for throwing a party. Well done, Dwayne. Well done. Not to mention, the athlete is set to make millions with his first contract, so he'll be A-OK. -okay. And speaking of his first contract, he'll be heading back to his hometown. He was picked 15th overall by the Washington Redskins. The Redskins didn't have to trade up to land Haskins, he's their quarterback of the future. He'll be given a chance to compete for the starting job, but coach Jay Gruden said that they're going to be patient with Dwayne and let him grow within the organization. He's a solid quarterback, he finished third in the Heisman Trophy voting and was third team All-American. He threw 4,831 yards, 50 touchdowns and only 8 interceptions, and 6 games against against ranked opponents, Haskins threw 20 touchdowns and 6 interceptions. But he started for just one year while at Ohio State, which is a cause for concern among evaluators. He talked about his lone starting year and said, I feel like I showed all I could as far as one year. I broke a lot of records, I did a lot of great things, I feel like I did a lot of stuff that I can be able to translate to the NFL. And his one year as a starter certainly impressed the Redskins coach, who said, a quarterback that has performed like he has in one year of playing football is quite astonishing. He's got all the tools to be an exceptional quarterback in pro football. So it looks like the focus will be on maturing Haskins as a player while Alex Smith continues to recover from his fracture and Case Keenum and Colt McCoy bear the brunt of the quarterback duties. So it's not going to be all bad for Dwayne. He has the opportunity to grow with the organization, but that doesn't mean he's overjoyed to be heading back home. When asked how he feels about the pick, he said, To be honest, I'm more motivated now than ever. Uh, there's a bigger chip on my shoulder. The lead done messed up, and uh, I'm just blessed by God, blessed by my family. I'm right down the street, so we're gonna do it right this time, so it's crazy. Tell us how you really feel, Dwayne. But look, can we blame him for feeling that way? It seems that most people are stunned by this Daniel Jones Giants debacle. Let's get into that for a second. The only way to describe the public reaction to the Giants' sixth overall pick is puzzled outrage. Daniel was not an obvious choice to be the anointed Eli Manning successor. It's not that Daniel isn't a good quarterback, it's that he just doesn't seem like he's as mature a player as as Dwayne is. People are describing the pick as inexcusable. Let's get into some more of the reactions to the news right now. Straight from Twitter, here's what people are saying. The New York Giants pass on Haskins and reach for Daniel Jones at six? Even if they turn out to be right about Jones being better than Haskins and Drew Locke, which other team was about to take Jones before the Giants picks again at 17? This cannot have actually just happened. Giants fans laughing at the Raiders and then hearing their pick get announced. And then there was this guy who I think represents the majority of Giants fans out there. This is the worst possible use of our first round draft pick that we could possibly go. Why do you hate him so much? 
He's not a leader. He's a child. I mean, what are we? What are we looking? I for? meant Daniel Jones. What no, do you have against Daniel? What I'm talking about. And for good measure, check out how rapper and podcaster Joe Budden reacted to the stunning news. <laughs> Reports say that they could sit Daniel for three years following the Green Bay model, according to Gettleman. In other draft news, we've got Kyle Murray heading to the Cardinals, Nick Bosa off to the 49ers, Quinn and Williams going to the Jets, Devin White joining the Buccaneers, Josh Allen making his way to the Jaguars, TJ Hawkinson off to the Lions, Ed Oliver going to the Bills, and Devin Bush en route to the Steelers. What are your thoughts on the draft drama? Tell me in the comments and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you here later on the Fumble. Oh.